it's Jenna J. Welcome back. We're in the kitchen. We're going to be doing a cooking video. Well, it's actually a baking video today. I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a delicious dessert. And of course, by titling the video, you figured it out already. We're going to be making Oreo cheesecakes. Cupcake size Oreo cheesecakes. You guys are going to love it. It's perfect and not to mention so good. And it's dessert. How can we not like dessert, right? So these are the ingredients that we're going to be using today in our um, Oreo cheesecakes. I've got some granulated sugar, sour cream, egg, cream cheese, Oreos, and some vanilla essence. Before we go further guys, you know, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification button. Bell notification button just ensures that every time I post the video, you get a notification. So it gives you a chance to look at the video one time and of course share with all your friends and your family. So cheesecakes are pretty straightforward to make. Uh, this is the particular brand of the cream cheese that I tend to use. So I'm going to be using that. Now this is so simple guys. We're just going to be doing, uh, crushing up some of the Oreos. We're going to be mixing up all the ingredients that I showed you guys just now. We're going to be folding in some of the crushed up Oreos. And we're just going to be putting it in some cupcake liners in a baking tray and put it to bake. It's really that simple. So I'm going to start off by crushing my oreo cookies because we're going to be using this as a crust now let me just tell you guys ideally or in most recipes you will see that they use um graham crackers for graham crust or um, as because it's the oreo cheesecake i'm using the oreos today and they usually combine it with margarine or butter to be honest with you sometimes that's so time consuming for me i just actually leave out the butter part so i just um crush up whatever cookie i'm using and I'll show you guys, it's just putting it at the bottom of the cupcake liner and use like a cover or something just to pat it down. It stays real nice, real good. It does not fall apart and it actually time, saves on time because they don't have to go through the melting butter and mix it all up and all of that. So up to you if you want to use the butter with it, go right ahead. You guys could de de determine that one. So in my food processor, I am just going to crush this all up. be doing is just adding to each one of these next thing what I'm going to do is just use something to just make it a little compact in the, at the bottom there so I just use like a cover of any bottle and just press it down and I'm telling you guys it stays completely fine do want to go the butter way with it go right ahead this works just fine for me now the next thing we're going to be doing is just basically add the ingredients to our mixing bowl and we're going to put this we're going to mix this up until everything is nice and smooth so the cream cheese was at room temperature and this helps so that there's no extra clumps in it okay this does not want to open out there we go and goes in now I know some people will say but you should be doing it in steps you want to cream the uh, make sure and beat the cream cheese before so it's nice and smooth go right ahead but like I said because it's already at room temperature it's gonna be easy when it's mixing and goes my sugar my sour cream and my vanilla essence so I'm just gonna mix this all up until it's nice and smooth so while I'm going to be mixing this, I have my oven preheated to 350. Alrighty, so this is what it looks like. Next, I'm going to just use something. You can put it in the food processor as well if you want to, or you can just do it this way. Just take something and just break it up. And we're just going to add it into this. Just going to stir it in. Not too much. Just fold it all in there. 
and now we're just going to use one of these ice cream scoops and scoop it into our cupcake liners next we're going to put this into a water bath so I'm just basically going to be filling a tray with some water and I'm going to be resting this on it and then we're going to be putting this to bake at 350 for about 30 minutes 30 minutes later guys this is what they look like so you want to make sure that they feel a little spongy or like bouncy like when you touch them just to make sure that they cook through you don't want them too firm at all so we're going to set these aside let them cool and then we'll just top it off so the cheesecakes are nice and cooled i left them for a while so they cool properly now and i'm just going to finish it off i have some whipping cream I usually just purchase the whipping cream or uh, the liquid in the supermarket. It's usually in the chiller section. And you're just going to whip it all up until it forms like stiff peaks with your cake mixer or your hand mixer. Easy like that. And then I have some crumbs. Just going to sprinkle it on. And if you want, you can even add a Oreo cookie on top of it so you can take your Oreo cookie you can either place a whole one on top of it on it just like this or you can cut it in half it's all up to you let's do, just do it like that just for some picture purpose no all right guys and there we have our Oreo cheesecakes they look amazing So we're just going to see what it looks like. Ooh, check it. Let's take a bite. Mmm. So check it out. You can see all the Oreos inside it. It tastes so good. The Oreo crust. See, so you told you totally fine without the butter. It tastes the nice Oreos in it. Mmm. Perfect. Oreo cheesecakes guys, just like that. Easy like that. You all have to try it out this weekend. Give it a try. You all will absolutely love it. Especially for those cheesecake or dessert lovers. Give it a try for sure. The water bath that I use is just to prevent any sort of cracking from um, happening. So that's why I use the water bath. There's also the option of using adding flour while mixing it with the cream cheese and the egg and everything. But I don't add the flour to it, I just put it in a water bath and it comes out perfectly fine. The Philadelphia cream cheese is my brand, the brand that I prefer to use when I'm using or uh, making cheesecake. And if you wish, if you prefer to beat the cream cheese until it's smooth and there are no clumps, before you add all the other ingredients, be my guest, feel free, go right ahead. Sometimes I just show you guys my way of doing stuff. You've got some shortcuts, yes, but it works fine. The end result is just as good so that's why i always choose to show you guys but again and give you guys some options too so if you want to just throw everything all in mix it until everything is nice and smooth go right ahead if you prefer to beat the cream cheese first make sure that's smooth and then add everything else by all means go right ahead as well the sour cream sometimes um to be honest with you you really don't really get the sour cream i've actually made these cheesecakes without sour cream already and it's just people some people didn't even notice that much of a difference in it so you get the sour cream all good and well if you don't it's perfectly fine as well so cheesecakes guys not so hard to make right grab your ingredients when you go to the supermarket on your next trip and give it a try out the kids and you will even love it too so my sister in law was the one who um introduced me to the cheese the cheesecake making stuff she's a boss at those things so i said why not show you guys how i make some oreo cheesecakes pretty simple stuff to do so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a try, of course. Send me pictures. Let me know if you do make your cheesecake, how different it is from the way I make my cheesecakes. And as always, guys, I keep telling you all, have fun in the kitchen. Feel free to experiment. Burn some stuff. Add too much of something in it. It's all good and well. That's the only way we will learn and get better in the kitchen, of course. So thanks so much, as always, for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video. If you guys are looking for some more desserts, of course, I did an eggnog cheesecake uh, last year sometime. So be sure to check that out. Quite delicious also, actually. More or less the same sort of steps, same procedures. Instead of the eggnog, we just add the Oreos for this. 
You can also check out my banana nut muffins I did. Super delicious. You'll have to try that. And just in case you have some cake mix lying around, check out the video that I did on cake mix brownies. And I also use cake mix to make some cookies. Real good stuff, easy things to do, easy stuff to put together. So more dessert ideas for you guys. And I also did some cinnamon sticks, simple things to do. So of course, be sure to check out all of that. I will be posting the links down below for you guys to go check it out. Of course, be sure to like and share with all your friends and your family, of course. So thanks so much for watching as always, guys.